want to show us a video, and I'll ask you to open up your hearts. It's three minutes long. And some of you might have seen it, but it's a picture of Derek Redman in the Olympics about 18, 20 years ago. He'd run the Olympics the year before he'd, got, he'd had an injury, he, and he was primed for his final Olympics. He was in the prime of his life. He'd won every race. And even if you've seen this, I trust God is going to minister to your heart. But he, he was in the prime. He was in the fifth lane. He'd won. He was up in the lead. He was expected to win the 400 meters. And then something happens. He tears his hamstring. And a man bolts. And I'm telling the story intentionally so you have the context. A man runs. He pushes past the security guard. It's not just a man. It's his father. And why this story? Because some of you here, and myself included, have torn hamstrings. And it stopped us running a race. Like parenting. It stopped us running the race. It stopped us from finishing the race. And I think this is an unbelievable picture of the Father in heaven. Can we watch a video, please? But anyways, uh, shalom. Can we close our eyes, please? Ten days' time. I have the privilege of going on holiday with my boys. And I know what the words that I'll hear the most will be. They won't be, can I play with the iPad? Which is pretty popular at home. They won't be, can I have yogurt? I think inside of every one of us, we are designed for those words. Watch me, Dad. And the problem is there's a whole bunch of filters in the way that stop us realizing that there is a father whose eyes never stop watching. Maybe you've pulled the hamstrings in your life. Maybe you are the absent father. Maybe maybe you've got failed marriages. Maybe your brothers and your sisters were so successful and you just never were that guy. Or maybe you've had it perfect. But you can't figure this thing out that God is living. This is what Psalm 121 says. I lift my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he watches over you, Israel, will never slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord, the Father, is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. The Father will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Father will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. We can just move on. This could just be another Sunday. Or we could allow God, the Father, to settle some things. I'm not usually this emotional. But I was preparing very early this morning. 
And I know some of your stories. And to be honest, there are times I want to come running out like that father. But I look and it's overwhelming. So, And others look and it's overwhelming. So they stay back. Because they don't have the resources. They don't have the ability. But I want to tell you about the father. Who will knit no obstacle. No distraction. Nothing. Let his eye be taken off you. And I want to ask that father to reveal his love to you today.